Hey, what's up everybody? So, Tool Talk Tuesday, this is my new thing. Welcome to Tool Talk Tuesday. And my name is Ryan Cook, and this week, we are going to talk about the Iowata Eclipse. Now, I was given the Iowata Eclipse by Iowata, and it was because my other one uh, died. Now, I'm just gonna be straight up. I used the Panache or Panache or whatever that company was. I bought a super expensive one, and it crapped out on me really quickly. Like, it did not last, it got gummed up, and it wasn't great. The other one, that I had, I, I then went and bought an Iowata airbrush from uh, 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 Opus Arts in Vancouver. Uh, it was a uh, 200 bucks or something like that. And it was great. It lasted two years. I worked it to death. And then on Instagram, I said, goodbye, you died, I loved you, see you later. And uh, I tagged it uh, on a story. And Iowata, uh, Devin at Iowata was like, dude, let me send you one. And I was like, okay. And he's like, well, what do you guys do? He doesn't, he, you know, he's super stoked on what we're doing with carving and everybody who's carving. And I wanted to know kind of more about like the ins and outs of chainsaw carving. So I am in no way, shape, form, no way, shape or, or form. I don't know what the word is, but I'm not sponsored by them, but this one was given to me. So. The honest opinion is I've had it for about a week and I absolutely love it. So this video is coming out soon. Uh, this weekend you'll see a new video about this. And, uh, oh, don't wanna show you too much. But I have it right here. So this is the Iowata Eclipse. Now, about this airbrush. Oh, the one thing I didn't like too much is my, uh, <laughs> My uh, ones, I bought these little like tubes uh, from Amazon and they keep falling out. So I am putting my finger here all the time and uh, doing my painting this way. So this is the Iowata Eclipse HP BCS. Now it is a high flow beginners to professional uh, airbrush. This thing is awesome. I, I have used it. So let me just show you like, I have one thing for sure. I have my air compressor. I use my Makita real air compressor and my PSI's at like a hundred and something. This is way too much for this airbrush. Iowata, I'm sorry guys, but you guys wanted a real review. This is a real review. Now, uh, I'm not about to adjust my airbrush, uh, I my, my compressor because, oh, Iowata, if you wanna send me a compressor, that'd be awesome. Um, I'm not gonna change that because I use it to clean my saws and clean my air uh, filters and I'm just lazy, to be honest. So, this thing, look at it, it pumps. Pumps nice air, there's no paint coming out, and then boom. And then I'm using black. It, it's, it's a really nice flow. And like, it is great. So, this one is actually way better than the other one I had. It's great for carving um, because you can get it going like a ton. And woo, boom. So there we go. We've got. And that's just me. It's a double action kind of airbrush. So you push down, it starts the air. You pull back, and then the paint starts coming out. Now, for me, it's a little bit too much, and it is too much. Like, a, like I said, I'm just lazy to change my settings, but it does what I want fast, and that's like a really important thing for carvers and all you beginner carvers is that we want to get things done quick. We're not in the business of taking forever and you know drawing it out. If you're a professional airbrusher and you're looking at this video and you're critiquing me, I am so sorry. And if you really want to know about airbrushes, go to iowata.com or go to just search airbrushing because there's so many guys who are so talented and, and are unreal at doing airbrushing. For me, I am using this for accents and highlights and that's what I do. So like for me with bears, 
I will do like a little round here, a little round there. And uh, you know, you fill in the ears here. You're just creating shadows. And in doing the shadows, this is awesome. It works super fast. And look at that, it's actually good for cleaning uh, cleaning your carvings. <laughs> so I use it for power lines. I use it for power lines and I use it for accenting my work. Now, you can tell already right there, it has just made it pop. And then I'm gonna use some uh, fire and some flap sanding. This is all unfinished. I just wanted to show you guys this for Tool Talk Tuesday because Tool Talk Tuesday is going to be my new thing. I think I'm going to talk about all kinds of different tools. Oh, sorry. Ugh. I gotta grab my airbrush here. I'm walking. I gotta put this down. I apologize. This is the best Iowata airbrush I've ever had. It is just a, I believe it's one of the medium, the mid range. It's not like the most expensive one. I think it's about 200 bucks or 169 US. It's awesome. It, 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 it double, it pumps out more paint than my other one did times three. It's great. So when I'm like in a pinch and I'm going fast and I want to do black and then I uh, quickly switch to like a brown, I rock it out and I love it. Now that's not to say I still don't use, I still don't say no to my spray cans, but for high end accents and just a nice like, not high end accents, but like for, for accenting nice pieces, that is what I love the airbrush for. And I love browns because I carve cedar. I'm trying not to show too much of this piece because I want it to be out for Sunday. But when I carve cedar, I'm looking at browns and uh, a black then a brown as like an accent to what I'm doing. Now, if you're in America or you're in Europe or wherever you are and you're carving white woods, maybe think of like a soft brown and paints. Okay, paints. Let's go into the shop. I use Golden. Golden is the brand that I use. I find it great. I think it is a, a nice paint, but if anybody uses a different paint, please send it to me because like I said, I am no professional airbrusher. I am just going with what I can buy locally at Opus Arts in Vancouver. And also there's so much to learn, but I can tell you that Iowata is the best one I've used and no, they're not paying me to say that. I do actually, I use the panache or panache or panouche or whatever it was. It crapped out on me in a month and it was like a $300 airbrush. And Mastercraft from Canadian Tire, which is what we have in Canada, that thing was 30 bucks and it was like the biggest flop there ever was. For these videos, I'm gonna try to keep them short, sweet and to the point and talk about the tools that I think are great. Now. For you guys in the comments, if you wanna see something about tools, if you have questions, let's do it. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna to try to do one every one week or at least every two weeks for sure on Tuesdays. Uh, I'm probably gonna even edit like a little intro video because I think it's kind of funny. And But at the same time, that's what I'm here to do is help you guys. I know right now with my videos, I'm focusing on like kind of like those, uh, you know, ASMR style videos where it's like not as much in-depth lessons but if you sign up for the memberships which is 8.99 a month there is going to be more videos with actual lessons and talking and long form videos not just uh fast tracking through videos so be sure to do that and if you have a question or if you want to talk tools let's get into it we are for sure which is my most asked question from everyone out there when are we going to talk about how to price my work now Pricing work is extremely tough. We're gonna do a video on it. I have to figure out wow, the proper way to do it. But right now we're talking about Iowata. So that will be coming down the path. So don't leave comments about that. We're gonna talk bars. We're gonna talk chainsaws. We're gonna talk tools. We're gonna talk what ones I like, which ones I don't like. That is what I'm here to do. Now you may disagree or you may have an idea. If you have an idea of a tool that I don't use, could you please send me a comment? Tell me what I should look into because I'll get it. 
and we will talk about it because that's what we're here to do. So this is it. I would say as far as it goes, as in, I would say the Iowato Eclipse is wicked. And my name is Ryan. Uh, this is Ryan Cook Carves and Ryan Cook Carvin. No boogers. Ryan Cook Carvin. And if this helps you, definitely leave a comment. Tell me what your thoughts are. Be nice, because that's what we need to do. Is and and also just give it a like and uh, subscribe to my page. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching it to the end. Let's go check him out. And you can see, I mean, just that little bit of airbrush, which is simplistic, it works. Now, if you used a spray can, you'd get those little dribbles. You get the dribble shots down here. So the Iowata airbrush is going to target your exact location where you want to get it. And that is going to set apart a little cool quick carve to really making it pop to really being able to sell stuff. So yes, it is an expensive investment, especially if you're just beginning carving, but it'll pay for itself as all the tools will that we're gonna talk about here. So be sure to like, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments or suggestions of tools you wanna talk about, please leave them in the comments. We're gonna talk bars, we're gonna talk saws. Um, I'm no longer with Echo right now, so I'm going to be buying some new saws. I want to try some battery saws out. We're going to be trying all kinds of different things. I know that's a lot of information I just threw out there right now, and I'm going to do a whole another video on that later. Okay, guys, peace out. Thanks for watching, and yoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Later, guys.